on the paramount chief of Krachi in Chumuru traditional area, Nalo Brimpon Kanya. The second says his traditional area has been left out in terms of roads and other developmental projects. The president, Nane Kufado, in 2021, during his appreciation visit to the region, promised to construct a bridge over the Uti River as his legacy for the region. This promise is, however, yet to be fulfilled 18 months to the end of his tenure as president. Peter Senu again has details. The road network in Kratin Chumru district is nothing to write home about. I have traversed the district for three days from Burai to Chinderi, Chinderi to Bwafre, Bwafre to Bejamsi, and the value is the same. Only Chinderi to Bejamsi has some grading and gravel works done recently. Residents say they feel isolated and neglected in their own country. They want the roads in the area fixed before the political season starts. What we want to say to the government today, we want, we want the government to mark our ways. This day, we the people of Wafri and then the, the adjoining communities are saying no, no road, no voting, no street lights, no voting. And then uh, whoever will come for campaigning, if he has not fixed such a thing, okay, he can come, we are ready. We are not prepared for war, but we will chase you out of our town. And then we do be If you have any food item to be sent to the market, except the tricycles, all we are telling government is that if they feel we are part of Ghana, they should come and fix the roads for us. We do not have problem with our MP. If he has the means, he would fix this road. This road has never seen any grading. Since the NDC time, now the MPP is almost living power. Wow. If ambulance is to transport any emergency case on this road, the person would die straight away. The paramount chief for Kratin Chumru traditional area, Nana Obrimpon Kanya II, has added his voice to the calls by his people to get the roads in the area fixed. Our roads are very terrible. The Nchumu area is neglected. Why do you say so? Because nobody comes here to, uh, to help us develop the area. We have a district council treasure and we talk, our MPs are not helping us. The government is not helping us. And we are not known. The government's NDC, MPP from CPP time, after the fall of Kwame Nkrumah, the area had been neglected. The old roads constructed during Nkrumah's region, they are the same roads we are using. NDC came and went away. MPP has come, the same thing. We produce a lot of yams, cassava, to, the, to Accra. But they have neglected us. They have neglected us. We don't know. They are not cooperating with us at all. They only want our votes. But we want to tell them that next time we are very, very careful. If, you don't, if they don't help us, we will also know how to treat them, both NDC and MPP. We haven't benefited from that, them at all. So the election is coming. The government in power, be careful. He has asked political actors in the area to get up and work for the development of the area. I'm telling all the politicians who apply in this area, they should be up and doing because they are not helping us at all. They come to deceive us. We make this thing for you, we vote for you, then you run away. The president, Nana Akufuado, in 2021, promised Nananum in the region that his legacy for the region would be a bridge over the Oti River. But Oti Bridge, Oti Bridge to them, I am determined and I've made the promise and I'm going to see to it it is done. It is going to be my legacy for this region. Yes, technical university However, with 18 or so months to end his tenure as the president of the republic, Nana Obrimpon dares the president to make good his promise to Nananum of the region. So the Oti Bridge, Oti Bridge, I am laying emphasis on this. Your promise, uh, Nana Kufuadov, the president of Ghana, your promise, don't forget. We're asking you to have that bridge so that 
it will ease transportation problem in the area. With the frequent breakdown of the ferry, a bridge on the lake would be an excellent alternative to ensure rapid economic activities and to save lives of residents at the overbank needing secondary health services. Peter Sun for Joy News.